Today, we're traveling first class on the luxury train to Machu Picchu. Checking in, we're served mimosas while dancing with amazing local performers before boarding the 1920s style carriage. We'll be served a five course meal with silver and crystal, all while seeing the beautiful scenery and Peruvian culture fly by outside of the window. There's a luxurious observation car with live music and bottomless cocktails, all for free, well, included in the price of the ticket. The train travels from Cusco, Peru, through the Sacred Valley and arrives in Aguas Caliente, the gateway to Machu Picchu. We have just gotten on the train. They just rang the bells, which means that we're going to be taking off from the platform soon. And my first impressions of this place is it feels like we just stepped into a Wes Anderson film. Everything is coated in gold. All of the waiters are wearing these very posh uh, uniforms. There's flowers on the table. There's just so much to soak in here and I'm so excited to be uh, exploring this train for the next few hours and to see where it's going to lead us. It's time to go explore the rest of the train starting with the bar cart. non-alcoholic drinks because it is still 10 o'clock in the morning. We've got the, the tuna, the lemongrass syrup one. Oh, too many options. We've been on the train for about two hours now and saw some amazing live music. There's beautiful views passing by all of the windows. Had some very nice drinks as well and now it's time to sit down for a three course meal. And this place is just spectacular. I can definitely understand why they charge 535 US dollars per person, but you definitely get that money back in the amount of luxury and it's amazing that everything on board once you step on is completely included. They even gave us a free little backpack, some merch on the side, which is nice, but uh, I'm excited for this meal. I'm gonna be very surprised uh, what they can prepare on a moving, super bumpy train. <laughs> He literally just described what each piece of ingredient in the meal represents in Peru. Like the green uh, toppings represent the mountains. This is uh, pretty, uh, pretty bougie, I would have to say. Absolute 
favorite area of the train is the observatory section. As you can see, it's covered in these big, beautiful panoramic windows, so you can see this place from every angle. You can even run back here and hang out of the back of the train. Oh, get a nice breath of fresh mountain air. We are so lucky today because the weather has been absolutely perfect. I've got my fingers crossed that it will be the same up at the top of Machu Picchu and I think we will actually be arriving there pretty soon. And wow, I'm very curious to see how this hike is gonna go because even just from talking to you right now I am a little bit out of breath so uh, I guess we're gonna have to see how it goes. Our journey with the train has officially ended, but this is basically a new beginning now because uh, now, thank you, thank you. Now it's time to start the adventure to Machu Picchu. We have now just jumped off that very sketchy bus ride into the base starting point for the hike to Machu Picchu. And what was not announced to me while buying the Hiram Bingham tickets was that it, it also included the bus ride, the entrance ticket to Machu Picchu, a tea time at the Sanctuary Lodge, which is the nicest lodge here in, Ma it's the only lodge in Machu Picchu. And they even throw in some free access to the bathrooms. So that actually makes the price for this first class train ticket so much more understandable that they take care of everything, they take you up, they bring you back down to the town, and we're actually gonna be staying the night here, but if you're going back on the train, they would escort you back, and it would be a seamless journey. I don't think we're gonna have to be waiting in too many lines either, which is so nice. Oh, and they also assign you a private tour guide, which I don't really usually like following tours, but it could be nice. So we'll see how it goes. I'm so excited to be here. Going up, the mountains were breathtaking. The mountains were so beautiful, it would be worth it to come to Machu Picchu area just to see that, but to consider that there's an entire ancient uh, set of ruins here on top of that, it's pretty unbelievable. And I'm starting to understand the hype of this place and I haven't even laid my eyes on it yet. After a lifetime of travel, countless countries, so many significant landmarks, I have finally made it to the one and only Machu Picchu. This is such a crazy moment for me. I don't usually get to knock a new thing off of my bucket list like this very often. So, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I'm so excited to be here. The conditions are perfect. There definitely is a little bit of uh, a crowd, but really not that bad. I think it's only about 60% capacity because of COVID still, but look at these views. This is unbelievable. We have so much more to explore. Uh, we have a few hours left and I'm oh. <laughs> just so excited. Let's go. Beyond the spiritual significance and physical beauty of Machu Picchu, one of the things I find the most impressive, of course, is the construction. All of the rock walls you see, all of the rock buildings were built without the use of mortar. And it's also very common for this area to experience earthquakes. And what's genius about the way that the Incas built these structures is that the rocks are placed in a way so that when there is an earthquake, they basically just bounce around and then settle back into place without collapsing. So basically this entire complex is just an engineering marvel. 
Also, I uh, unfortunately forgot to pack my bug spray in my day bag because I am getting absolutely eaten alive by these small little biting flies. I'm not sure exactly what they are, but I have red marks all over my legs and it's slowly killing me. So when you come here, don't forget your bug spray. We arrived to Machu Picchu around 1 p.m., which is pretty late considering most people want to be here for sunrise, but right now there are basically no other people here except for us. Maybe, you know, a few dozen other people and it's around 4 p.m. right now. The sun is getting so perfect and we just could not have asked for a more beautiful day here. through 800 year old ruins right now and we have this place completely to ourselves granted it is closing very soon and the guards probably aren't happy that we're still here but still this is a once in a lifetime experience to be able to walk among history here there's really nothing else like it there are very few other things in life than, that makes me more excited than being able to see such historically significant archaeological sites. It might sound a little bit nerdy, but I've definitely been reading and learning about Machu Picchu since I was a kid. And now we're just walking in the middle of a freaking ancient, holy, like holy place. Oh my God. I'm freaking out right now. I could not have asked for a more perfect experience visiting Machu Picchu for the first time and it feels surreal that I was able to travel here in a first class luxury train. That was one of the coolest travel experiences I've ever had. I've never done anything like this before. I definitely want to make more train videos in the future. It's so much fun. So let me know in the comments where else you would like to see me make some uh, videos about trains because I am up for the adventure. And overall, I think that it was somewhat worth the money. If you have the budget to do something luxury like that, you should definitely do it. But also, I always want you guys to know that you don't need to have a lot of money to travel. Having luxury experiences is fun, but it's not a necessity to be able to see somewhere like Machu Picchu. This is one of the biggest backpacking destinations in the world. Travel can be done on a budget, so don't let the idea of not, you know, having enough money uh, hold you back from having experiences like this. If you want to find out more about my money-saving tips, uh, travel hacks, uh, bucket list destinations, and more, you can check out my newsletter at LexiLimitless.com slash newsletter. I send that out every week, so don't forget to sign up for that. And until the next time, let's push our limits. <laughs>